Good morning, peeps. Happy Saturday. Well, it's morning for me right now. Um, so I have four travel journals. You see my coffee right here? <laughs> my iced coffee. Um, I have four travel themed journals that I wanted to share with you today. Um, so there's like a larger and a smaller version. So what I'll do is I'll do the large versions first and then we'll go through the smaller versions since they're pretty much the same all right so let's get started i will start with this one first so this one i use one of my um decorative file folders um I believe it's heidi swap i'm using them up guys i told you i had a ton of them <laughs> So I'm using them up. So this one has like a um, like a ledger style and I just could not bear to cover it up. So I left it and I just fussy cut the suitcases from the paper collection. I think that paper collection is called Come Fly With Me or something like that. It was a hot buy paper pad from Michael's a while back. Um, and I have a lot of it because... I'm a little bit obsessed with it. You know, I love travel paper. I don't know why, but I love travel paper. So I fussy cut that down and it here did. I stitched the size as I usually do to make the big pocket. And it's just this, um, what's this called? Grow grain ribbon um, tied around it and this pretty lace. Nothing too fancy because my feeling about travel journals is um, the least amount of frou-frou, <laughs> you know, because ideally, I guess if you're going to take it with you, which I usually do when I travel, I usually take my journal with me because otherwise, um, I will forget to journal. Um, either I'll take it with me and I'll do all the journaling or I'll take it just to stick like a bunch of brochures and stuff in there. Um, but yeah. So that's my idea. So I, I don't like to put a lot of stuff on the cover. So as usual, I have my large tags that are stitched. This time I used um, all the pattern paper because it was light enough. And these I thought would be perfect for journaling lines. And I just have this charm here. It says pack your bags. I don't know if my camera's going to focus. And then it has the map page. You can even write on this side as well because it's so light in color and then I just have some ribbon here and as you can see it has um, that file folder has a pretty matte paper in the background so I could not bear to cover that so I just left it as is and then the back tag is this one and then I have a Tim Holtz um, charm that says world which fit I thought <laughs> and then this one I um, I think this is cardstock and I stitched it on the back because sometimes I use cardstock and sometimes I use like leftover file folder um, to stitch my tags so sometimes I forget so here's the inside I thought about putting a pocket here, but I was like, it's so fat already. So I'm going to send, there's going to be tons of ephemera and, um, you know, scraps that if you want to put your own pocket, I will even actually, you know what I will do? I will make a pocket and I will send the pocket <laughs> and then you can choose whether or not you want a pocket on the front or not. How about that? So then I made a belly band here. And what I did was I went through, I get these, I actually have one right here. This is my latest one I got. Um, I get these um, travel brochures in the mail and they always have beautiful um, images in here. It makes me want to travel. So I have a ton of these and since I was doing, um, I knew I was doing these journals, I just grabbed the newest one that just came in the mail and I just pulled some images out of there and I stitched them on some leftover file folder. And um, so you have a bunch of them with different places on them. They're just beautiful. So um, you have that here. 
And this is from a travel book that my bestie sent me. I think, uh, I think I have it somewhere on this pile. Let me see you guys. Oh. Okay, yeah, the bestie sent me this a while ago. And um, I was gonna keep it at, as a whole, but I'm like, why? <laughs> Cause I'm not going anywhere where I need to fill this up. So I decided to finally tear it apart. And then when I finish, I will turn this um, into a journal itself. So that's so there's a few pages in here and in all of them actually. And then here's a vintage postcard. This one is Detroit, Michigan. And it does have some writing. It's very faint, so I don't know if there is, a, I think it says 1923. I think, but yeah, so that's that. I thought the colors look nice on that page. And then this is a um, cut apart from the collection. I did some stamping. We have coffee dye paper, resume paper. A lot of the paper came from um, Selena's junk in my trunk kit, that whole paper kit. So I put a lot of that paper in here. I added some stickers. Some more cut apart from the collection. A lot of led ledger paper. <laughs> this is from the kit from Selena. This is um, my favorite onion skin paper. Some more stamping. Some map page. I think this came from Selena's kit as well. Some more stamping. Some more ledger paper. I think almost all of this ledger paper came from Selena. It was just a perfect size and I didn't have to cut mine down because mine is this huge. <laughs> Here's another sticker. Here's another um, page from that book. I got these from a shop. Oh my gosh, and I forgot to bring the paper over here. It's called, I think it's called Christy Arts, but I'm going to link her Etsy shop down below. And she has some really beautiful ephemera. And I was looking for like some travel ephemera um, and I found these beautiful ladies um and I thought about making them like tags but then I thought maybe you want to put them on the front well maybe not on this one <laughs> but I thought I don't know I just thought I would leave it up to you to decide what you wanted to do with it if you wanted to be a bookmark or a tag so I didn't punch a hole in it so I have this envelope here it is one of those um airmail envelopes that I coffee dyed and then I just added some of my airmail um, washi tape here and some vintage um, I just layered some vintage what do you call these stamps that I had in my stash and so that's like a little tuck spot right there and then as you can see that flips up and I didn't leave room for you to do your own thing because I always like to do that these are just some cut aparts from the collection that I added in here um, I, I'm telling you, I have so I have so much ephemera that I wanted to add in here, and I was like, yeah, this thing is getting way too full. Let me just save it. This is from a um, I think it's it's 19 something. I want to say 10, but I can't be exactly sure of the date. But it's a book, <laughs> book pages that I had, and so this one is Vienna. Um, did I, am I saying that right, Vienna? I don't know if I'm saying it right. And you guys, I haven't had all my coffee, so forgive me. Oh, I actually left this page blank. So some stamping and some more coffee dyed paper. Some more cut aparts from the collection. And this one is a tuck spot that I stitched on. Here's another beautiful image from that travel brochure. Some coffee dyed paper. I have these little tickets in here and this tiny little airmail envelope that I got from Wish a long time ago. And inside, oops, <laughs> these tickets are all stuck. Okay. Inside, I found these little tiny images from that travel um, brochure and I stitched them. So you can do a little journaling on there. 
and hide it in there if you want. So that's what I did with those. So all these little envelopes have little um, little images, so I won't take them all out so we can save some time here. I want to put these tickets back on here because I will forget to put them on here. Okay. And then this is just some um, note pages that I have, but they have the little Eiffel Tower. So I just added those in here for some extra journaling. And then I used some scraps. And I just used my punch and folded it and just made like a little booklet. You can, um, you know, do some additional journaling on here. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> really simple page. Just really simple. I really wanted to travel some some place this um, this year, but just not in the cards. But hopefully next year. And here's the other side of that book. And I need to go a little faster. It's a little pocket. Here's another one of those beautiful ladies. And then here is a um, cut apart from the collection. And then this is just a sticker. It is foam, so it's squishy. Um, so it's the memories, as you can read. Here's the other side of that paper. And some more stamping. I'm go a little bit faster because I feel like I'm taking way too long. I didn't want to cut this, <laughs> so I just fold it. You can make, you know, add it. Um, add some glue and make it a tight spot if you want, but I couldn't bear to cut it. So here, so <laughs> what happened with this was it was only supposed to be one of these pockets, but I was working late into the night. So you have two of these pockets. So I had to put two in the other one as well. Um, so there's two, it's a long envelope that I folded. So it has, I guess, three pockets it would be. Um, so it has this large one here. That's what it looks like. And so I just have this postcard, which is from the collection. This is actually, excuse me, this is actually a sticker. Um, you can peel it and stick it somewhere if you want. I believe it's a sticker. I've had these for so long, but I believe it is a sticker. If I'm not mistaken. I think it is. I don't want to take a long time, but. Here's another cut apart from the collection. So there is a pocket behind this pocket. And there's another cut apart there. And then this is the other um, ephemera kit that I got from the same shop. Aren't they so cute? So there's, um, there's some of these in all the journals. As you will see, and then a sticker up there. This is adventure. And oh, I left that one blank too. So here I did like a double little corner tuck with another sticker. Here's another one of those beautiful ladies. I probably should have put this pulled the shade down, you guys. Hope the lighting is okay. And it's another cut apart. So I just slid that in there, and I think I had her up here. I didn't realize this, the Eiffel Tower, and then it says Hotel Paris. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's funny. I know, I'm just delirious, you guys. I'm sorry. So here, here's another one of those lovely ladies. And this is funny. So I wanted to some kind of like passport. So I went on Pixby and I found a passport image and I printed four of them and I cut them out and then I glued them on some blue cardstock and I stitched around it and I just put some um, coffee dye paper in here so you can have actually more journaling. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. So I added that and then I added some washi tape, some travel themed washi tape so you can, you know, if you have stuff you want to stick in your journal, you can do that, your ticket, boarding pass, whatever. 
supposed to watch. I'm not going to be able to get it back in here like I had it. Oh, I did. And then here is another postcard and a, another large tag. Here's the back. And there's the other side. Here, This is a postcard. It's not vintage, but it's beautiful. And I think it is, it's a national park, Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park. That is beautiful. So everyone has one of those. They're different, but no. There's another post, I mean, cut apart from the collection as well. And then there is the back. Oh my God, that took 15 minutes? Jeez. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go through the other big one and then we're gonna speed through the other ones. I'm not gonna take everything off because they're pretty much, I think, all the same. So, coffee dye seam binding here is what the um, cover looks like. It has suitcases on the front. Here's the spine with the lace. This is a suitcase right here. I think it says something in there, but it's, I think it said, oh, it says Paris, London, and something else I can't read. And then this one back here says travel. So I'll show you really quick what the tags look like. That one says explore. I actually purposely cut it <laughs> so I could keep that word. And then this one. Okay, so let's put those back. And heavy up because this is ridiculous. Spending way too much time on this. Look how fat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one's a little bit chunkier because I covered the file folder. This was a regular file folder. Um, and so here I stitched on this. I wanted to keep this here when I cut down the paper, so I made a tuck spot with it. And again, I used some of the images from my travel brochure. Here is a page from that book. I stamped, all the stamping is pretty much the same. Oh, and I did use my punch on the corners of some of the papers. Some, like I said, some of the papers are from Selena's um, kit. Here's another one of those beautiful ladies. And we have some washi tape sample here. This, I think, is a sticker as well, I think. I, like I said, I've had those for so long. This is um, a game, one of those, like, learning. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And here's another one that says Explore. And again, I think it's a sticker. You know those game card things? I don't know what they're called. I don't even know if I'm, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And then here is one of those book pages. This one is Berlin. Oh, so I, what I did was I added washi tape in the middle. It didn't crack when I folded it, but I was a little leery just in case because it's old. It's from the 1900s, so it's pretty old. So I just added some... Um, washi tape in the middle just to secure it and here is one of those images from the brochure another sticker another page from the um okay tuck spot here's another one of the lovely ladies and this is a vintage postcard this is london so you can journal on the back of that one. And it's another one of those postcards. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I want to go there. This is Yosemite. Oh, that's beautiful. I thought it looked really nice against the blue. The match paper, map, map. Not match. Map <laughs> page. <laughs> and there's a little stamp here. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. This is what happens. I don't know why I keep torturing you guys and doing videos before I've had coffee. Here's another one of those envelopes, you guys. Um, and I added the little things in there as well. Here's some stamping. Here's another one of those beautiful images. I have to take it off because it's so pretty. Okay, and then I made a belly band here. It says adventure. Another one of those images from um, the brochure. It says stamp here. And then again, I did the um, coffee dye paper. And then this is just some stationery that you can use for some additional journaling. And then again, this is a sticker up here and we have the little postcard. There's the lovely Lady Ephemera and another one of, oops, oh, I love how beautiful that is. I love the colorful houses. Oh, so pretty. Man, 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 I need to hit the motto. <laughs> I need to hit the lotto. I'm an introvert and I am a homebody, but I love to travel. I love to travel. I just want to see everything. Coffee dye paper. And some ledger. Here's another one of the lovely ladies. And again, I did the same thing. Here's another page, some stamping up here. Some large tag. Here's another one of the lovely ladies here. This is, um, you know, the, uh, you guys know, I can't think. <laughs> Here's another one of the large tags. Oh my goodness, what do you call it? Card catalog. It's a sticker down here. Another um, page from that book. It's a Tim Holtz journal card and a bunch of little tickets. And there's the back. All right. So there's the two large ones. So how I'm, I'm listing them, I'm listing these two together and these two together. So this will be large and this will be TN insert, I believe is how I named them in the drop down. Oh, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so let's go really fast. So same thing, same lace. I stitched all around the whole thing This on this one, on the smaller ones. So I'm just going to go really fast. I'm not going to take out too much. Try not to talk too much. So postcard right there. There's a page from um, that same book. I tried to use all the same, um, pretty much all the same stamping. These have the little, um, these little envelopes because, you know, it was a smaller journal. It's another, so it's a tuck spot behind here and then the little pocket there. And a little sticker here. Here is the little passport and a little envelope. And this has a charm here. It's a camera charm. And there's a little stamp. And this is that paper from Selena. It's matte paper. Here is the middle. There's another one of those lovely ladies. Another color part. I stitched this here. Here's another one of lovely ladies and another little cut apart. I love travel journals. I love travel themed journals, period. It's another lovely lady here. It's an envelope. It's a bunch of little ephemera in there. And I won't bother to take out. Some stamping. So the I forgot I did this. 
So this, the little scraps, I have a little like postage punch. So I just kind of left it open. So it's like a tiny little tuck spot. And so there's this uh, upside down. And again, I think these are stickers. Stamping. And here is one of those beautiful postcards. Oh, so pretty. This is Mesa, Mesa Verde, Verde. Oh, I'm probably butchering that, right? Is that in California? National Park. I know, I probably butchered that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's another one of the lovely ladies in a cut apart. The other side of the book. Oh, I forgot to put a sticker here. I'll put a sticker there. I knew I was forgetting to put a sticker somewhere. I'll put one there. I'll leave it open. I'll put one there. So little travel sticker. Here's that same little paper booklet thingy. Oh, and then I just added the uh, papers here. It's a little postcard. Here's the washi tape sample. Let me show you this watch. Oh, it's the same as that one. I forgot. Those two have the same washi tape samples. Well, this is bending. I think I need to move that. All right. So that's that one. That is the TN. All right. Let's quickly go through this one. Oh, my gosh. I'm almost 30 minutes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So I have this brown lace. Oops. On there with the airplanes. Again, I stitched all the way around. Okay, we have a vintage postcard. This is Windsor Castle. And another one of the lovely ladies. Okay, let's go quickly. I won't take everything out. It's pretty. Same stamping. This, I did the same thing with that one. A little sticker up there. Stamping at the bottom. Sticker here. Same thing. I know I have a small one of another small one like this one. If I find it, I will replace it because this one is just it's not like small and dainty like the other one. But I know I have more of those small ones somewhere. I just can't find them. I don't know where they are. And again, there's another one of those things that I think are stickers, but I'm not sure. Another one of those. And here's another one. Some tickets, stamping, some map page. This one I did a little tuck spot up here. It's another one of those. Look how beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Bryce Canyon. The side of the book, some more stamping. It's another one of the lovely ladies. Here's another one of the booklets. Same thing here with the um, stationery, Tim Holtz journal card, and the washi tape sample. And that is it. Woo! Okay, you guys. <laughs> That is it. Those are my four travel journals. They will be listed in the Etsy shop uh, by the time you see this video. Hopefully there's no technical difficulties with Etsy. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will probably see you later on today. I may do a live um, working in my summer journal. All right, you guys. So have a great day and everything will be linked down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.